Folks, welcome back to another episode of The Fallen Badge. Today we're going to look at the murder of Corporal Barbara Esther, Arkansas Department of Corrections. Corporal Esther had 12 years on with the Arkansas Department of Corrections. She was 47 years old. She had a husband, and her husband worked at the same facility that she did. Now, she had one child and one grandchild. She worked at the East Arkansas Regional Unit, which is in... Brickies, Arkansas. That's an unincorporated little town there in Arkansas. It's just a rock's throw away from Memphis, Tennessee. Now, the suspect in this case, he was in prison for murder. He murdered his daddy. Resource material didn't paint a very nice picture of the suspect's father. And it sounded like father and son were so much alike that I guess one of them was, might have met with a violent ending, and in this case it was the daddy. Now this East Arkansas Regional Unit that Corporal Esther worked at, it contained about 1,600 inmates. Now it had an agricultural employment program and it had, I, I guess, would be typical programs that you would find in prisons all across the country. Now, unfortunately, among those inmates that were trying to learn a trade for their eventual release from prison, you, you had those and they were not eligible for re-entry, such as the suspect. And of course, there is that thought that if you know you're not getting out, at least not anytime soon, could cause a volatility within those inmates. It's January 20th, 2012. Now, Corporal Esther, she's in one of the housing units, or at least observing one of the housing units. Now, while she's observing the Inmates, and I'm assuming the, the way the resource material talked, the inmates are out of their cells. Now the corporal, she sees an inmate, and he's got a pair of shoes that are contraband. Now the investigation didn't state how this inmate got those contraband shoes into the facility. But in any event, he had them, and there's rules to follow in the prison. And the state didn't approve the footwear, so they're contraband. The resource material in one version states that Corporal Esther went into the unit, into that area where this inmate was by herself. And the other resource material says she went in with the lieutenant. I don't know what the typical protocol is for correctional facilities, but I would think that at least I'll send two people. But again, I don't know. Whatever the circumstances were, she goes into the open barracks. She approaches the inmate and tells him she needs those shoes, that they're contraband. Now, the inmate, he pulled out a six-inch long shank. Now, this particular shank was a piece of metal that authorities are pretty sure came from an air conditioning unit. Now, this is about 12.30 in the day. When the inmate takes that shank and stabs Corporal Esther one time in the stomach. 
Now, the resource material does not state exactly how the this inmate, the suspect, was taken into custody or whatever you do once an inmate's done something like this. But Corporal Esther was able to leave the unit and she got to the hallway in front of the infirmary there in the prison before she collapsed. Now they called for an ambulance and I don't know if this 911 call for an ambulance was as disjointed as some of the other ones that I've either done an episode on or have researched where sometimes there seems to be a lack of communications between the prison facility and EMS. But an ambulance does come and picks up Corporal Esther. Now, I don't know what medical facility they took her to initially, or maybe they just found an open field. But in any event, they call for life flight. Life flight. Send the helicopter over, picks her up, and they take her to the trauma center there in Memphis. Now, she would die that day. Now, the inmate was moved to the Supermax prison there in the Varner Supermax prison in Grady, Arkansas. That's in the southeast part of the state. Now, he was convicted of Corporal Esther's murder on November 7, 2014, and he was sentenced to death. Now, from what I've seen, he has not been executed yet, near as I can figure. This is another example of a smoking gun, no doubt about it. We should not have appeals. It should not take nine years to execute somebody that's already in prison for murder. Now, the investigation that followed, they, they did not or have not determined, or maybe they did and I missed it, but... They don't know if the inmate was targeting Corporal Esther or if he was just generally upset with the world. I do know that in his one of his appeals, he talked about it wasn't his fault that he stabbed to death Corporal Esther. It was he was under a lot of stress because he was in prison. Well, stop committing murders and you won't go to prison. Corporal Barbara Ann Dukes Esther. End of watch, January 20th, 2012.